still that is facing Brexit. Yes, sir. Okay, this man is supposed to have fun. <laughs> What I do to him? Huh? Why don't want him to have money? We get cheese. What do you need? Take him out in the room. Talking, but I was surprised. You're surprised. Eh? That I'm being twisted. You're surprised you're being twisted. You don't shock. Uh, I want to pray for you. Amen. 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 Next week, Sunday. Come here. Yes, yes, yes. I will pray for you until you give us a test. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Uh, greetings, saints. Uh, my name is Caleb. I come from Pretoria. Um, I was privileged today to meet the apostle um, on a one on one basis. Um, so, he gave me a word that has been uh, basically it's 100% correct. Uh, it's about a lot of uh, challenges and delays that I've been facing in my business, um, uh, in my career. So, what's been happening a lot in my business at the point of breakthrough, even when things are signed and paperwork is there suddenly out of the blue things just get delayed there's a lot of closer breakthroughs that i have and it's gotten to the point where literally any time now any of them can come through and any of them can change my life 
So I've been very surprised because these delays come and they, you know, things work out for a while and then suddenly at the end, just when literally money is about to be paid, etc., things just get delayed. So I'm very, very grateful and very happy and excited that uh, God has revealed this through His servant, the Apostle today. I believe this word has changed my life. Um, I was manifesting. Um, I can remember some of the things that were said by the Spirit. Uh, but um, I'm very, very grateful. Overall, I'm very excited. Um, today is my day, and it's a good morning to my life now, and I'm very, very grateful. Um, what I can say to the children of God is they need to exercise a lot of patience. Um, I believe the Spirit of God is there to give us this patience uh, through the grace of God. Um, to put into perspective, I've been coming to Charles for a few years. I've never manifested before. I was surprised that I was manifesting. Um, it's taken a long time. I've been prophesied and prayed for for a while, but uh, you need to be patient as a child of God. God's time is the best, and once God's time is there, uh, and, and, and you, of course you are located, uh, your things will work out. So I just like to motivate the children of God, be patient, be encouraged. Um, as long as the servants of God are here, um, your breakthrough will come. What did you do to this man? Ewen. Look at me, Tad. manifesting but uh, the, I was just here uh, I was happy uh, when I before men of God prayed for me after men of God prayed for me I was I was feeling uh, different so I'm say I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm I'm very happy as a uh, man of God uh, prayed for me uh, I'm encouraging other people to come to meet men of God uh, because here there is a grace if they have got the opportunity to come here on one-on-one -on -one, I advise them to come to get delivery to get healing there is a many things happen here <coughs> Uh, 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 
Somebody picks that cover. Where did I show up this day? Yeah. 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 If you just end like yeah. this, you, you are showing this yeah. discipline. Yeah. Discipline. Yeah. You are sure. Yeah. But in the process of hearing this, that we talk about this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the same thing you do. Oh, you do it. I hate to do it. You're supposed to do this with your own practice. Yes. 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 Father, this is the first prophet of church. We stole this place. We stole this place. We stole this place. We stole this place. The name of Jesus is a great place. Let your eyes shine. Let your eyes shine. Let your eyes shine. Let your eyes shine. Shall we? Let us shine to you. The man of Jesus. The man of Jesus. I believe this person to be a solution. So where is this man to be a solution? The man of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In our hands of Jesus. You don't want to share this. And we'll ask you what's the price. You shut your mouth. I don't know what it is. You keep on praying. Pray continually to give you interpretation. It's a mouth that you're seeing how the day might just keep on praying. Every day is a gift. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My name is Michael Robert Douglas Mora. I had an opportunity to see the man of God one on one. Uh, I want to confirm the prophecy he gave me to the truth. Uh, I've been having a lot of opportunities where uh, they were not materializing, but since he prayed for me, I've seen the, the grace of God working upon my life. And uh, he spoke regarding my calling, and that my calling has been restored and then he has prophet. And he prayed for me that the grace of God must manifest. And I thank God for that. I feel very relieved. I, I thank God for his growth to descend upon my life. I can advise that in every situation, God has accomplished. And God has accomplished. That is reason to like one of them is our father. He is going to be to come and meet the Let me touch you here. 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 The first one was that I was having a person who are uh, against my marriage and that my marriage has gone, gone down. It's gone down and that my husband is away that uh, his friends are not good. And then the other person is that like three weeks ago we've been very very sick and feeling dizzy and coughing the whole night and they did prophesy that uh, he was feeling dizzy because uh, I noticed when we were here at church that he was not steady when he was going out to the restaurant and I had to accompany him and support him and from that day until the following week when he was prayed for by the and then it got better. But he's still feeling weak. Sometimes he's concealing, whatever. 
the problem is. And the other offense is that uh, uh, there's a plan for him, for him to go to Benda to meet the chief about the about selling the house. And it is true because we went there on uh, went to Benda on on Thursday and we found that the the staff there we have a Christmas party and we're planning to go there tomorrow. So I can say all the prophecies actually even the first one that the the bad friends that I'm having. We were saying that I'm a, it's a long, 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 long time friend. And they were saying they're making like snide remarks, but I thought they were jokes. He said exactly what they were, they were saying that they call him a garden boy. And it's true, true, true. Everything that he said is so true. How do you feel after receiving um, oh. the pro those pro all those prophecies? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that it is something in the direction because he also uh, assured me that uh, tomorrow you can go and meet the chief. Everything will be fine. Because he's been going to meet the chief, the police, the social workers, they were all against him. It was not working. But he says, no, it will be different this time. And thank God. What can you, after meeting with the, after having the experience of meeting the men of God for one one what can you advise others to encourage others to come and see the men of God for one on one? I would encourage other people to come and see him. Yes. the men of God one of on one because whatever the men of God, the prophet of God say is the truth and you must have faith and trust them and have faith and abide and take whatever uh, advice they're giving you. They, the light they're giving to you to take. Greetings in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. My name is Providence Ngatibungo Beni and I'm from Clayville. I received a prophecy by the Apostle. He mentioned that I have a spiritual husband <coughs> and he talked about uh, my 
the passing of my sister and I confirm that to be true. I feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel that maybe things will get back to normal. I would like to encourage people to come and see the Apostle to receive their deliverance because I believe that every Christian um, should receive a deliverance. Viewers, I am Christina Green, originally from Limpopo, Luitrichat, Chikota. But I'm now residing in Centurion Cosmos Dal. Um, men of God today prophesied uh, things that were relevant and uh, he was on the spot. And I thank God for this prophecy because I know that prophecy brings deliverance also. And the one other thing that I am grateful to God about is when I came in, I was very sick. But right now, after the prayer, I am free, I'm feeling light, I'm feeling delivered. I am delivered. And yay, thank God I'm delivered. All I can say is Charis is the place to come to. You receive a spot on prophecies nothing will be left out. Actually, you'll be surprised how did the man of God know about the secrets of your heart which you haven't told anyone. So this is the place to come and prophecy, as I said earlier on, brings deliverance as well.